Hey, hello again, guys. Um, just wanted to bring you another video here. This is one that I've been uh, kind of dreading. Um, I know I have a stump grinder page. I got a couple mowers on my other page. Um, uh, there might even be a couple on uh, this page as well. But I guess we can talk about, you know, some some tools and I'll give you a quick review kind of of this uh, Massey Ferguson GC 1705 um, I bought this tractor here going on it's going on a year now it's probably been a year since I've, I've bought this and it's it's been a big delayed process bringing this uh, review for this tractor um, and and we'll get into that a little bit um, as you can see here it's Currently holding up my snow plow. I'm servicing that. Uh, nice fall day down here. Leaves are starting to come off. Well, leaves are really coming off the trees now. But it give you an idea of what we got going on here in western Pennsylvania. It's about 48 degrees outside. Get back in the garage here. Um, so anyhow, um, this tractor here. I bought it a year ago. Um, I have a real hard time, you know, trying to keep employees. Um, I use I use my guys normally for cleanups. You know, I go to a job, and while I'm grinding, them guys are, you know, or one guy's throwing chips in the in the truck, and they're always complaining and crying about it. So. We didn't need employees anymore. We bought this thing. I'll take this out. I very rarely do cleanups, but when I do decide, you know, or if someone decides they want a cleanup, I'll take this out with my big trailer with the grinder. And it really does an exceptional job of scooping it up. It's not a huge tractor. It's a small tractor. It can get into tight areas. I have the tractor itself. I got, you know, the, the front end loader. I have a plow for it. And then um, on the other side of my building over there, under my lean-to, I have a 60-inch mower deck for it. So it, it it is, the idea of this tractor is outstanding. It works so nice being able to cut your grass or scoop up chips or maintain your driveway, um, you know, in the good months and in the bad months, uh, hence the snow plow. I, um, I bought that machine with just the front end loader in the, uh, 60 inch belly mower and then later on I found this snow plow here used and I had to go scoop it up I got I got a pretty good sized driveway here and it goes you know the whole way down this way and the whole way around the back side of me here and it comes back out this way wraps around and then my driveway also goes that way to my other garage and then down this lane here so I got I got plenty enough uh, snow plowing to do which you know spending a little bit of money on that wasn't wasn't too bad but we'll get to the tractor the tractor is a massey ferguson gc 1705 as i stated before it's a subcompact four-wheel drive diesel tractor uh don't beat me up if i get this wrong i believe it's 23 horsepower it weighs somewhere around 16 or 1700 pounds empty um you know another 600 pounds more with the um loader on it so it's it's a good light tractor it will go anywhere i need it to you know to go um four-wheel drive works great it also has the uh four-wheel drive diff lock which i like is right there when shopping for these tractors it's tough there's so many of them out there you got Kubota, john deere massey ferguson coyotes new hollands etc etc there's there's a bunch of them so you basically just got to find something that you feel comfortable on. It works for you. And I think they all work. They all do good. There's just little differences between them. This one here, my main deciding factor was price. I picked this thing up used. I think it had 37 hours on it. The guy bought it, realized he didn't need that something that big. Took it back to the dealership and there it sat. They had a hard time getting rid of this thing. I think it sat for, you know, almost an entire year because... People couldn't justify spending just a little bit extra and not getting a brand new tractor. The price came way down on it, so I ended up buying it. I think I got, I bought the tractor itself, I think for nine or $10,000. 
and then the snow plow came up for sale and like i said it is a used used plow as you can see here it's super straight you know obviously the paint's kind of scraped on the front of it everything looks good on the back uh, power angle and power up and down so these things new are going for around 3000 3200 something like that again don't beat me up over the prices guys i'll get you close to them that's that's about all i can do this one here my dealer called me up said hey we got one of these in very rarely happens i know you were interested in a snow plow if you uh, wouldn't be opposed to buying a used one come on down take a look at it so i went down there and i ended up getting it for half the price i'd give them 1500 bucks for it so 1500 dollars. this thing will last me for lots of years uh, i'll keep it maintained right now i'm kind of servicing it i noticed there's a there's a drip underneath of it and i think it's one of these hydraulic cylinders not a big deal i'll uh I'll get a good look at it and see what what I need to do to fix that. Uh, pop it off there and just take it to the shop, drop it off, let them fix it. Not a big deal, easy fix. The tractor itself, uh, it runs phenomenal, but there are things that I don't like about it. Um, in order to run the snow blade, you have to take off your front bumper, which isn't a real big deal. But when you have to take this off and on and off and on to run the loader, which often comes in handy more times than not, you just leave the bumper off. So obviously you'll you'll ding this here occasionally. Um, doesn't matter how careful careful you'll be you're being. It just it just happens. Not a big deal there. Uh, the grass it cuts it cuts really nice. Leaves real nice stripes. The one thing I don't like about it is. Massey Ferguson really screwed us on the blades. They're the only company that makes the blade for that mower deck. I like, uh, what do they call it? Um, a mulching blade, mulching style blade. You can't get them. They're a high lift blade. That's all you get. And they're pretty expensive. I think they're like 60 bucks a piece or something like that. They're, they're ridiculous. There are three blades on them. And they really, they're not a good quality blade. I, I can go multiple years on a set of blades on my zero turn. And this thing here one year if i'm lucky half the year i've already changed these twice this year it's been a pain in the butt i don't like them but you know maybe i'll find somebody online that's making something similar and just make it work uh i don't like that this doesn't fold down that's okay though i haven't really ran into too many situations where i need it low hanging branches you just kind of got to go around them I did put a light bar on top of here. Obviously, I ripped that off. Uh, Low-hanging branch, not paying attention. Stupid me, it happens. Everything, I do like the um, quick attach. Everything on this is quick attached. Down here, you see this hanging. You'll slide your deck underneath of there, drop those down. They're little qu you know, quarter-turn pins. They pop right in the holes. And then there's two on the front here. Real simple and easy to do. You guys have any questions about that, let me know, and I'll have to make you a separate video. The actual loader itself is a quick attach. You got two pins, one here, one on the other side, exact same thing. Pull those out. Then you'll pull these out and these legs will fall down and you'll put those pins in those holes. Once this thing comes down, it'll line up with that hole there. And just uh, disconnect it on this side over here. And I'm sure there's other videos online, you know, you can, you can check those guys out and They'll, they'll show you exactly how this stuff works. I'll just give you a quick video of what I got and let you know kind of what I use it for. These tires, they work really nice. They don't tear up the yards. Um, lots of traction. The one big problem that I had this year down here is a sight glass. Bam. There's a sight glass there. I was mowing. I cut... Um, ball fields right beside my house here i got three big ball fields and a couple parks that thing there just fell out i had no idea i'm mowing along and then all of a sudden i couldn't go any further i about ran it dry i turned around and looked behind me and noticed that there was a trail behind me and sure enough that had popped out that's just held in with silicone terrible terrible idea i don't know why they did that um, if that pops out, and I guess it's a pretty common thing with these tractors, you know, um, 
you got to go get a new one, silicone a new one in, which I didn't like doing, but it is what it is. That's all I can do. Put that in there and filled it back up with hydraulic fluid and it worked out good. Uh, tractor's pretty comfortable. The seat's terrible. Um, I'm saying comfortable with, you know, a guy my size, six foot one, I can sit up here and everything's, you know, within reach. I'm not crowded. Everything's comfortable on that part. But these seats, that's another terrible thing that I don't like. That seat's ungodly uncomfortable. That's going to be coming off here soon. I mean, within the first 40 hours, this thing was starting to tear. I weigh 210 pounds. I'm not that heavy and I'm not hard on my seats. And for something to last that long and start tearing, that's just, that's not good. Um, maintenance on it, super easy. Um, that's one of, the, one of the big things that I liked about this tractor and one of the other main reasons why I decided to purchase one of these. Everything's right here. Um, air filter pops right off. The battery might be a little bit of a challenge to get to. I don't think so, though. I mean, pop this nut off and this battery should come right up and out. Not a big deal there. The screen is over here. You pick that up and knock the stuff off of it. Um, oil filter, you can see that down there. Right there. Uh, super simple. Um, directly underneath of that is a drain plug. Uh, easy enough. Um Hydraulic fluid, again, that's pretty easy. Just underneath of here, it's kind of going a long ways. So you'll twist it, you know, this way or this way. Um, and it's it's real easy to get to. I could probably show you. Oh. Uh, I can't see. Uh, if I don't know if you guys can see it or not. I can't see where I'm looking. I think I can see it on my screen. Uh, that's it there. Then uh, right there is your fuel filter. Another nice and easy to get to. Some of the other tractors, you gotta have to tear your sides off in order to get to a lot of this stuff. This tractor here, you just pop the hood and everything's right there. Nothing to that. It's a little dirty right now. Uh, we just got over our dusty season and went straight into fall. That's typical Western Pennsylvania crap weather for you. Um, but yeah, guys, that's uh, oh, what am I doing here? I'm hitting something. I don't know what it is. Oh, maybe it's this thing. Could be. There it goes. Um, but yeah, that's the Massey Ferguson GC1705. Good size bucket. Uh, it does exactly what I need it to. It doesn't have a super high lift. If you have a high truck, you're not going to be able to dump over the bedsides. This one here, I just barely get over my bedsides. What I usually do is just put the uh, chips in the bed of my truck um, from like the tailgate side from the very back and then I will dump them in and then push them forward. So uh, kind of like a garbage truck. I don't know if you guys know what a, how a garbage truck works, but it basically does the same thing. You dump them and you push them. Um, quick little sneak peek of something that's hiding over here. I'm going to be making another video here shortly, guys. That's the brand new Rayco RG80, and it's at my house. I've been using that for this last week. It's uh, Rayco's machine. They're letting me use it while mine's getting finished up at their shop. Um, I did buy it. It's, you know, it's mine, and it'll be here uh, hopefully within this week. So I didn't want to make a big video about that yet. That's coming soon. Uh, keep a lookout for it. Um, that's pretty exciting. You guys are going to like that one. Um, just been kind of working in my garage here. I'm going to shoot a couple more videos for you here soon. We got some stuff going on over here. Little clue. Stay silv, flux. I don't know if you guys can see that. That's a green tooth sitting in a old ammo box that I made. Um, look forward to that video. I'll be making that one here soon too. Uh, if you guys would decide you want to start retipping your own teeth. Oh, what else do we got going on here in the shop today? Sharpening setup. Uh, just this year, I just started getting into this type of stuff. It's saving me a bunch of money along the way. Um, see a mask here, carbide, or uh, what do they call those? Diamond wheel. Um, brush, 
and oh vacuum i'm losing my mind today guys sorry it's just been kind of a long day got some oh super teeth sitting over here i can show you guys that too um yeah lots of good content coming subscribe if you haven't already those guys that have subscribed hey that's super awesome thanks appreciate it um we're going to be making a lot more videos here soon i don't know much about this youtube stuff and i'm figuring it out as i go it's getting a little bit easier every time i do it uh, uploading videos was a giant pain i found a way to compress videos and make it easier to upload um if you look back there you see a bunch of steel orange chainsaws and stuff like that we'll make a video on that type of stuff you know tools things to have my crazy cluttered toolbox is over here we'll go over some of that stuff heating torches um, or burning torches yeah lots and lots of good content coming soon guys um, subscribe we're going to be um, sending out some t-shirts uh, tactical stump removal t-shirts um, if you guys want one of them say something in the comments um, and we'll pull a couple guys to win those. Probably give those give those out around Christmas time. Oh, what else? I think that's it. Um, shirts and hoodies, guys. Um, I got I got a bunch of them made recently, and we'll get them sent out to you. I I love that stuff. I love I love wearing. That's all I ever wear is t-shirts from other people's companies and things like that. So if you want me to support your uh, your company, we'll do some videos and things like that, and. Uh, yeah, I'd appreciate that too. That'd be cool. Uh, that's about it for now. We'll wrap this video up. Uh, you guys stay safe. Um, get your stuff ready, put away for the winter time. Those guys that, you know, do that. Um, I don't know how mine's going to work out this year. I'm probably going to do a lot more grinding stumps in this winter, just because of all the different tree guys I've got. Some of them guys don't stop working and, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll cut this video off. Now you guys have a safe weekend and uh i'll talk to you guys here soon